Do you know how vaccinations impact herd immunity and help keep your community healthy? What is herd immunity? Let's take a look at Bob. Bob is flying into town for business. His dear friends John and Susan live here. John and Susan's son Ben and his wife Emily also live across town with their new baby girl, Isabel. After Bob's meetings, he goes to John and Susan's house to stay the night, then comes over and joins them for dinner. The next day, John and Susan give Bob a ride to the airport. On the way, John drops off Susan to visit with her old coworker, Jane, who recently had a kidney transplant. At the airport, Bob and John shake hands and say goodbye. Even though he didn't realize it at the time, Bob was carrying a highly contagious infectious disease that he caught while traveling because he had not received his recommended vaccinations. If everyone he had come in contact with the past few days had not been up to date on their vaccinations, Bob could have easily spread his infection. Luckily for Bob, a very high percentage of people in town are vaccinated for the infection that he has. Because of this, they acted as roadblocks limiting the ability for the disease to spread, especially to vulnerable populations, such as baby Isabel and Susan's coworker, Jane. This community effect is called herd immunity. Herd immunity only works if a high percentage of the population receives their vaccinations on the recommended schedule. A proper vaccination schedule for those who are able to receive them remains one of our most powerful tools against these potentially serious infections for both individuals and the greater group. Talk to your doctor or healthcare provider to learn more about the recommended vaccinations for you and your family. Together, we can help protect ourselves and those who are most vulnerable, like baby Isabel and Jane. Learn more at mnhealthycommunities.org.